Okay, so I want to give you a quick update on the DIY algae scrubber. There is major change to this. After doing a lot of research, I actually found another site. I think his name is Bud Carlson. He does a couple of videos on YouTube on some algae scrubbers as well. And I found algaescrubbing.com and uh, I found an update on some of the new ways to do the algae screen. And it looks like 12 square inches is the way to go for me just because I only feed one cube per day. So and now the screen size is not made for the how many gallons you have. It's made for how much you actually feed your tank. And just by doing this, now this is this has only been running a couple hours, but already I'm getting a lot of growth on this screen already after a couple hours of changing it up. It looks like I mean, I, I think I have overkill on the lights compared to what I was reading too, but I will take it from there because from what I understand, I have to outcompete the algae in my tank, and I definitely want to have as much wattage on here as possible right now. I'm also going to cut, I had it going for about 19, 20 hours. I'm cutting it down to about 12 hours of light, and we'll see what happens. Um, so I'm hoping that this concentrated small square from what I read, is supposed to actually suck the nutrients out of the tank much better than a larger screen. So let's see what happens. The other one was not growing algae very evenly. This one seems to be filling in quite, quite nicely after this a couple of hours of running it. So this is what it looks like, guys. And uh, I will give you updates on my tank as the tank starts to improve. So please comment, rate, and subscribe, and once again, this is my DIY algae scrubber. I have three 24 watt CFL 2700K warm white. So have a good day guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe.